Hello and welcome to my F1 23 Lamborghini Mighty Career Mode. Here today for part 59 for the Singapore Grand Prix. So the grid then it's a Mercedes 1 2, a Ferrari 3 4, then it's Piastri and Valtteri Bottas, Verstappen and Gasly, Pacher and Esteban Ocon round out the top 10, then it's Joe and Sonoda, Lando and Fittipaldi, we are 15th alongside Liam Lawson, 17th Holger, 18th Stroll, 19th and 20th Magnussen and Al Bond. and on the final row of the grid is Nick DeFries and Logan Sargent. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix in with what's going to be a mixed Grand Prix as it is due to rain in the middle of the race. So the one stop is going to be the chosen strategy, it's tough to meetings but that's not really how this race is going to play out as the rain is expected. It also rained in qualifying as you can see here a lap not very good and then it rained even heavier as the session went on and we didn't have the grip and put it into the wall so we've had a shock in the qualifying can we go forward we need to go forward long hold the lights but eventually it is lights out and away we go we've got a good start with past the McLaren and several cars we're gonna go to the outside, try and go round the outside of the chair and the McLaren. We're now side by side of our teammate Piastri. We've got our nose ahead. Are we ahead of our teammate? Coming out of turn two, yes, we are. We're ahead of Piastri. Now they're down the next section. Is Piastri going to have a go at us? To the inside, nearly contact. It's the most we've seen Piastri this season as we keep it pinned down the inside. We a very aggressive to our teammate there but we are ahead of him and we've gained several places at the start that is the start we needed but can we carry on to go forward in this race it's now though skipping on to lap two started to fall back from the ferrari and continue to come under pressure from our teammate as to the inside goes piastri and piastri is through as we have a big big tank slapper and Pochair tries to get down the inside of us and there's a contact there on the exit of the corner and Pochair had big big damage because he had a truly train behind us like we had in Zamvort as now this is Joe trying to get down the inside of Pochair Pochair keeps him behind and this is just allowing us to pull away we seem to have good pace in this early stint on, on the soft tyres there's no joke, still all over the back of the Aston Martin, it must have big damage. A bit like Sainz last time out in Monza, after the contact with Joe, is round the outside goes Joe, and he's past the Aston Martin, and now Esteban Ocon is on the back of the Aston Martin, he's going to go to the outside, it's French driver, the French driver, and it's Ocon who comes out on top, and is through and ahead of the Aston Martin as we were just managing the pace lap 8 we weren't we were falling back to our teammates and the tyres were starting to cook a little bit we were starting to slide around on lap 8 the rain is on its way and eventually we were caught by Joe so our pace that I thought we had early on weren't really pace it was just that the chair was so slow as we lose out to Joe there was nothing really I could do about that going into turn 5 watch the conditions we think there's rain coming pretty soon be careful dries definitely seem like the Mark's saying the rain is coming down very soon as we just was trying to stick with Joe and this is Carlos Sainz he's starting on the soft tyres he's just boxed for mediums and is going to come out side by side of the chair and he's lost out to the Aston Martin but with the rain minutes away have Ferrari just screwed over their driver Sainz very nearly won in the last race at Monza and he needs to find a way past the Aston Martin quickly because this Aston Martin is so slow look at the train behind him as he's down the inside and it's job done for Carlos Sainz 
great move for him. As now he goes over the bridge. And on lap 11, you can see here, the rain is starting to come down. OK, I think we're still on the right tyres for the time being. Mark thinks we're still on the right tyres. We just need to keep it going. It's a very long lap here, so if the rain does come down, you're going to have a big pace advantage if you time it right. And you can see the track now. We are right. skating. It is time definitely for the intermediate tyres. You can see the rain reflecting off the lights there and onto the track and the Alpine engine in the back of that Alpine, the Renault engine has gone bang on Esteban Ocon and that is pretty much bang on where he retired in the real life Singapore Grand Prix. It's now those at the front, Lewis Hamilton, from the lead boxes George Russell stays out everyone now coming into the pits to put on the intermediate tyres lap 13 is the crossover point and we'd actually gone for a wet setup in this race because of what happened I thought it was going to rain further into this Grand Prix to be honest as now to the outside we keep science behind science has drastically caught us up on his fresh tires but it's not going to matter now as we both box so go on to the intermediate tires in this grand prix but we went for a wet setup in qualifying just because of this rain so we are taking a big hit in the early stages and if the rain does stop hopefully it doesn't because we need it to rain to help our setup as we go on to the Inters. A bit like we tried to do in Mexico last season and that pretty much it did pull off in the end. We did win that race so hopefully if the rain continues to fall we might be alright. But as we box now we come out of the pits and we're in P9 and now we were really starting to pull away from Carlos so it's managing the gap. And we had great pace on these intermediate tyres compared to the softs when the track was dry. It's now lap 18 and the rain is beginning, is beginning to ease. As we near we nearly hit the wall there, but the rain is easing off a little bit. The, it's still coming down, there's now sight has broken the DRS on, it's not like it matters, it's not activated. But as we run wide, we were starting to slide around a little bit, Science is on the inside of us. The battle continues from last time out at Monza when we were battling for the lead. This time it's P9, we're side by side, we're going to show the Spaniard the door and stay ahead of Carlos Sainz for now. But now he's going to have a good run down the back straight but he's too far back to have a go on us but now though in lap 19 the rain has stopped as, as though it doesn't look like it from the reflection but it has stopped as we go a bit deep there through the chicane and I think it is time for the dry tyres back to the dry tyres and if we can time this right we can gain a lot of time here so we're going to gamble, go for it, we're P9, what have we got to lose in this Grand Prix? So the annoying thing is that it has stopped raining because it it is going to mean that we are going to start to struggle again with the setup. But it does mean we can go back onto the softs, don't have to use two different types of compounds now that the race has gone wet and we've gone onto the wet tyres and now gone back onto the dries. So, with 11 laps to go, we can go to the end on these soft tyres if they hold up. Hopefully they should do. But, unlike last year's car when we struggled on the soft tyres in damp conditions like this, it seems to be better this year. As those at the end of the lap are all boxing now to go on to the dry tyres so we'll see what tyres they're thinking we've gone with softs what are the other teams thinking then as this is George Russell cutting down the pit lane and they're gonna go 
I think that's the hards on the mediums on the Mercedes. He's gone to the hards. Interesting there. Looks like you really want hards on a damp track. But this is Carlos Sainz now boxing. He's really been taken out of contention in this race because of that Ferrari pit stop. Literally a lap before the rain started to come down. But he's going on to the softs as well as Carlos Sainz. And now where do we come out relative to him? There we are. We retake the position off of Carlos Sainz and we are a fair distance up the road now as Carlos Sainz exits the pit, look, pit lane and into through turn three. And we've got quite a big gap on him now. As he goes through the next corner, you can see the gap we have on him. Fairly big now. And now hopefully we can manage that, but we weren't able to because five laps later, round the outside, Sainz tries to go, we fend him off, and he has to stay behind for now. At the end of lap 25 though, here he comes, he's got a great run, round the final corner, he's getting closer, he's going to try and go to the outside, he has to back out of it, he's a little bit too far back there, that could have ended in big, big contact going into turn one. But now we are going to be a sitting duck down this back straight. The, the setup, we've gone the wrong way. We really should have just gone with dry. But it looked like it's going to rain for most of the Grand Prix from the weather indicator. It's to the inside, goes Carlos Sainz, and there's nothing we can do about that. And Sainz is finally past us. And now we can get up. Up the road and now we were just we were trying to stick with him lap 27 but we just didn't really have the pace a bit like this time last season where we just never had the pace though we got a podium that day we were still like 40 seconds off the lead this time we're nowhere near that lap 29 though on to lap 30 two laps to go and this is Gasly who we were battling early on was really in the mix there's now around the outside, we keep him behind. For now we've gone deep though, we've gone deep at turn three. And now Gaz is gonna be able to have another go at us going down the back straight. You can see science has already gone through your picture. He has flown up the road now. As now science with Gazzy to the inside, just the old switcheroo. We really aggressively block him off there and stay ahead of him for now. On to the final lap now. Gas is going to go to the inside at the first corner. We hold it around the outside. We keep him behind now. Now we just need a good exit off of this corner. As now we head down towards the back straight. Down the back straight we will go now. And Gasly is getting closer and closer to the back of us. Is he going to go to the inside? Yes he is. There's contact. They're under rage comes upon us, there's more contact, we bang wheels, but we stay ahead of the Alpine, the last remaining Alpine, but meanwhile, up front, Lewis Hamilton wins the Singapore Grand Prix from a big, big margin, 15 seconds up the road from Charles Leclerc, he's going to finish P2, that's a great result for him after the DNF last time out in Monza. George will get the final place on the podium and after an absolute shocking race for us we are going to come home to P9. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Well, confidence breeds confidence. Success breeds success. They are very much enjoying a purple patch right now. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again.
so that's been then your Singapore Grand Prix won by Lewis Hamilton and that's another weekend where we've had a poor result and Lewis Hamilton's gone on to win Charles Leclerc was P2, George Russell P3, Max Verstappen P4, Piastri that's his best result of the season I'm pretty sure P5 five p9 for us not the best of days didn't really have the pace today for a stat that is the first time this season that we've finished in the points without winning the grand prix of course we finished third a couple of races ago at zamvor but we got the penalty that day which put us out of the points so legitly as the race results that's the first time we have finished in the points and not on the top step this season which is a good start in itself p9 not the way i wanted it to end though the pace of that Aston Martin though of Teo Pacea he just didn't have the pace in that race he just was a truly train he was basically recreating what we did in Zambort you can see how many cars was lapped by Lewis Hamilton there was one retirement in this Grand Prix that being Esteban Ocon so in terms of the championship then the gap has been cut down by Lewis Hamilton with that win and the poor result for us the gap now 31 points it was 48 coming into this Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton now has jumped Max Verstappen once again in the championship after Verstappen jumping him last time out in Monza due to that podium finish in terms of the constructors then and after we really had been getting the gap down a result like that a 1-3 for Mercedes and a P5 and a P9 for us it means the gap now has gone up to 31 points between us and Mercedes but there is still a few races to go this season so hopefully we can crawl this back and Haas the only team who has still yet to get a point on the board this season but that's been then your Singapore Grand Prix not the best of Grand Prix we just didn't have the pace today our best part of the race was when it rained because of the setup the next race though we go to Japan the last time we raced in Japan we had that big crash with George Russell I'll see you in Japan goodbye